Let's not waste any time. We have the men from Orphan Black. Let's take a look at look, the look, look, uh, trailer. I only trust my sisters. We can't rely on anybody but ourselves. What have you done? It was the only way I could see to get you out of diet. What? Betray my sister? You pull something like that again, you are out of my life. You know what? I don't really care. Kira? Count your sisters. You're just like us. A clone. She'll be okay, I promise. I'm not someone you can fight, Sarah. I'm not gonna sit on my hands and wait for them to die. All you had to do was stay away. I can beat her, Donnie. I can beat her like a French mine. I want your wife. I'll just take her. <gasps> she just needs to be taught a couple of life skills. You should not threaten babies. Bueno, what did you do? I don't know who Castor is. Voila, the woman of the hour. Sarah's in London trying to kill the Castor original. Jesus, us. That's your mom. Oh, oh. Oh, it's a freaking Christmas cake. She's our original, too. We need her. You go. You can't crush the human spirit. Come, sister. Ladies and gentlemen, Jordan Guevara, Dylan Bruce, Kristen Brunn, and Ari Millen. Did fine. There was a big debate backstage about how Nathan was gonna pronounce my last name. Woo! It's the A-V-A. It really trips people up. It really does. It's yeah. unusual. <laughs> There's a whole lot of Canada going on in this stage right now. A whole lot. All Canada. Yeah. So this is the border. <laughs> we'll be the north and you guys be the south. Yeah. Thank you guys for coming. A sold out panel, that means 16 surgeries for Operation Smile. Uh, wow, thank you guys. Thank you. Very well done. We couldn't have done it without you. We couldn't have done it without you. And I'm sure you guys have some burning questions. I'm not going to waste any time. Gentlemen, would you guys like to select the questions? Oh my God, choice? that's a lot of pressure. Yeah, it is. That's a, it is. Ugh. But do it. Okay. <laughs> you, milady. <laughs> Hi, uh, my name is Amanda, and I just wanted to say Donnie is one of my very favorite characters on the show because Thanks. I absolutely love that he's willing to do anything for Allison and that it's like, as a married woman, it's so refreshing to see that even though they go through struggles and things going on, they can still get it on the bed. Yes. <laughs> oh my God, are you Donnie? You are you a Donnie, Donnie, Donnie cosplay. You Come up needed here. a Donnie cosplay. What? Oh my God. Maybe you guys should start twerking together, I don't know. Oh. <laughs> We that is amazing. Started. You got the chest hair, the nipples. And Canadian money in there, And the too. Canadian money. <laughs> That's a $50 money. bill on her butt. That's amazing. Thank you. You're the best. Thank you. I got a cosplay. <laughs> Everybody's... Everybody's always, you know, like a version of Tat, but that's mind-blowing. Oh, my God. Thank you. So, but yeah, I just wanted to say, you know, he, we, Donnie grew so much as a character this season, and it's so fun to see him like own it and like wear the pants, even though like Allison kind of dominates. Sometimes he does. He does yeah. But but sometimes he does, and it's awesome. So, how are we going to see him grow more next season? Is there going to be more tension? Is like Jason out, or do, do we know? Well, certainly uh, Jason Kellerman is still alive. Uh, he wasn't in Pouchy's garage when Helena went to town. Um, so he's still around, and I think he's still very much a bit of a threat, so I think Donnie, I personally would love to see Donnie get a rematch Woo! with Jason Kellerman, so we'll see how that goes down <laughs> if it happens, but uh, uh, I just want to, I would love to see Donnie spend more time with the other Sestras and uh, certainly get some more face time with Helena because that is just too much fun, awesome. yeah. So let's see. Let's see if Donnie keeps wearing pants or not and uh, toughens up some more. Yeah, that is awesome. Thank you Thank so much. Thank you so much. Let's go to Helena right there. Helena. Uh, hello, Brother Sastra. <laughs> it is so nice to see all of you. If you could choose who Helena would kill next, who would you choose? 
Why did everyone look at me? <laughs> no, we want you to answer first. No, no. <laughs> oh. Uh. Who, I'm trying to think of who I don't, who I, I love. I mean, I love everybody on the show. As actors, I would like them all to stay employed. Um, who do I not like? What character really ticks me off? Kellerman. Kellerman? Yeah, I feel like <laughs> she should probably do Kellerman in. Because that's just getting a bit, I don't know, what do you think? I was, I was going to say Dr. Cody, because... Hey! I'm, hey, I what do you mean, hey? Your mom. I Wait. know she's your mom. But and she shot me four times. Yeah, Cody, come on. Isn't Cody And dead? she also, like, no, no she's, she's still she's alive. alive. She's Ferdinand alive. shows up in the car at the end. Oh. And then, Hello, it's Ferdinand. Yeah, Ferdinand. <laughs> Great, so I watched the season finale. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Good prep, Jordan. I had one job. Oh. Yeah, Dr. Cody, I think she's... She's got a bone to pick with Dr. Cody after all that waterboarding. I agree. What about you? Dr. Cody, man. Oh. <laughs> she killed me. Actually, I killed myself. Yeah. With a With grenade. honor. With honor. Strength and honor. Strength and honor. Like, like a, a boss. boss. All three of yeah. you. <laughs> well, I knew someone was going to say it. Um, well, next question. <laughs> ended on the weirdest note. <laughs> um, how about you in the back? Hey guys, how's it Hi. going? Is that Clone Club Aussie, Australia Aussie, back there? Yeah, Clone yeah. 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 Club Australia. Get on your mic. Yeah, mate. <laughs> um, so my question actually is, uh, Christian and Dylan, we didn't see you guys interact as monitors together, nor did we get to see you guys with Evelyn as all three monitors together. So I'm wondering, hypothetically, if we could have Donnie, Delphine, and Paul in a room together, how do you think that would have I, been? I've actually already pitched this story uh, yeah. to our writers, and we wanted to go back to monitor camp. And uh, <laughs> Delphine, what would she be? She would be, you and I would be going through basic training together. I basically think it would be like 21 Jump Street, where yeah. I'd be Jonah no, Hill. No, I play you Jonah Hill, you play Tatum. All right, got yeah. it. <laughs> Clearly, yeah. That That's, I think that would work out much better. Totally. Totes, my goats. Totes, my goats, my goats. Uh, but yeah, something uh, monitor camp. Like, uh, yeah, that'd be fun. It would be a thrilling web series. Yes. It's in the works. Yeah. I just want to say thank you so much for being here. I tell everyone I know this is the best show on television because it is. Right. You guys are so good at that. So thank you for thank telling you. all your friends to watch. And uh, my question is for Jordan. Hello. I have a sort of fan theory that there is a huge backstory to Felix. Because uh. why would Mrs. S foster Felix? And she has all of these weird connections going on. So there has to be something with Felix and Clone Club, and I'm wondering if you think that... <laughs> this, is the mo this is a very leading question, isn't it? <laughs> Crap. <laughs> um, I, I, I can't say much. I can say that um, Graham had a little sake last night, and... It's the best way to get answers out best, of Graham. It's the only way to get answers out of Graham. <laughs> Um, I did have a little conversation with him about season four. I can't tell you what it is we talked about, but I can say that I really like the direction that the character is going in next year. Um, I think he got a lot of really great stuff to do last season, but we didn't really feel... There's, there's so much that's happened over the course of the last three, three years, and I don't mean three years chronologically, I mean three years in the show. Um, in the, the, the course of the last three seasons, there's been a lot that's happened, but the character hasn't... There's been some expansion, but I really, I'm looking for more growth. I think there needs to be more growth. I think, um, I wanna see how all of this changes him. And so uh, I think in order to put the right frame around that change, delving into some of the backstory would be a sensible plan. <laughs> Let's feed you some sake and see what happens. <laughs> I would fall asleep. I'm one of those people that has no, I don't, I don't get that nice buzzy drunk that everybody else seems to enjoy. I go from completely sober to asleep, the room is spinning, I'm awful to be around, I'm just not a nice person, and it, 
I think we should get you drunk and then weekend at Bernie you around. That's hard. Between two of us. I smell a sitcom. <laughs> <laughs> right here, over here. So I stayed up way too late the other night watching Christian doing the Pi Dawson's Creek pilot reading, which was amazing. And so my question is two parts. If you guys were to pick a clone to script read, which one would you pick and what pilot would you guys want to script read? So we would be doing the script read of some random pilot for another show, but as no, one well, of the clones? Two questions. One, which clone would you want to do? And second part, what pilot would you want to do again? Since you claro, been... claro. Mm. What she's talking about, by the way, with the Dawson uh, script reading was at the Austin Television Festival last month, and there was a big script reading of the Dawson's Creek pilot uh, that a whole bunch of people from uh, various TV shows did. Who did, did. you play? I played... Uh, Joey. Joey's... No, I played Joey's sister. <laughs> and <laughs> and uh, the really kind of hot, ditzy girl who worked in the video store. Yes, as with, you do. Yes, I do, yeah. Yes. It was kind of a gender... Cross gender. I casting. love that. Yeah. So Patrick J. Adams, who we've had on the show, he's from Suits. He played Joey. Um, so clearly, I was his sister. Um, <laughs> Mae Whitman, who is amazing. She she's she, brilliant. Uh, she played Dawson, and uh, and like we just grilled out the panel with a bunch of people. It was awesome. It was so much fun. <laughs> uh, if I was to read it, okay. Uh, Golden Girls. Maybe? Yeah, Golden Girls pilot. And we could all do Golden Girls. Yeah. 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 You are obviously uh, Sophia. Yeah. No, no, no. You're a big time Sophia. Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. You're not Dorothy. You're Dorothy. Uh, yes. Damn yes. it. I'm feeling a little Blanchish. Yeah. You're dirty. And he's definitely a rose. Rose. <laughs> <laughs> so beautiful. So that's what we would like to do someday. In terms of a clone I'd like to read for, uh, I would like to read for Rachel Duncan. Yeah. She's so cold yeah, and thank saucy. You. Thank you. Yeah, I pretty much like to read for Crystal. Thanks. <laughs> yeah. I just think that, like, that's really in line with my core values, you know? Because, like, basically, when you're, like, spiritually sound and you treat your body like a church, good things happen, and that's what it's about. It's about positivity and loving yourself. <laughs> Wasn't Crystal based off of you in real life? Yes. Yeah, I thought so. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> she was at Jenny's. It was just, it was us, everyone doing Kroll Show. Yeah. Anybody know Jenny Kroll Slade. Show? Jenny Slade. Jay Slade, Jenny Publicity. Slade. Yeah. 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 I love publicity. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I got bangs. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I Sorry. almost didn't recognize me. I'm just going to quote Nick Kroll for the yeah. rest of the... Yeah, just yeah. to each other. <laughs> and we're going to laugh. And then, yeah. um, Ari, how about you? Yeah. That's a trick question. I think I've already done it. Yes, this is true. <laughs> yeah, good point. <laughs> oh, do I have to pick one? <laughs> pick a clone, bro. Holy fish doodles. <laughs> Fish doodles? No. What did she fish, say? Fish sticks. Fish sticks. Have right? you ever heard of a fish doodle? What I don't is know a what a fish doodle, Dylan. What the hell is a fish doodle? You cotton headed ninny muggins? Ninny oh, wait, that's, that's elf. Like a... That's elf. That's elf. I'm getting, I'm getting, I'm put, getting put my genre. Wait, elf or chest. alf? Elf. Elf, okay. I don't know. I would, I would be Allison, I guess, but I don't want to do an impression right now because I'll embarrass myself, so thank you. Too late. <laughs> Another question. Go ahead, gentlemen. Hi, I just want to say I love all of you. I just started watching the show this season, and I finished all the seasons like one or two days because I loved it that much. You lost your job, didn't you? Yeah. Because no. you stayed home. But I did watch it at work. Did you shower during that time? Yeah, yes. Okay. Um, I want to ask if after the panel, possibly, if I donate a smile, can I get a picture with all of you? Of course. I'm up for that. Yeah. I'm up for that. Why not? Yeah. Okay. And um, I want to ask, what uh, person in your life inspires you the most? Or it's it, okay it, to say it, it's it so an, deep. It can even be an actor or... Well, uh, or anyone here on the stage with you. Do you, <laughs> do you know, I, I, 
when I first met Nathan, it's true. Do you know what? Um, there are a lot of people that a lot of people in my my immediate family that inspire me. I, I think everybody's always pretty inspired by their. If you got a good family, if you have a good foundation, your parents. But the filmmakers and actors from the 1970s, Bob Altman. Brian De Palma, Sissy Spacek, who I've talked about in countless interviews. The woman probably thinks I'm insane at this point. <laughs> Jenna Rollins, Peter Falk, um, anybody like that. Anyone who approached, anyone who approached the business with um, no ego and uh, a real passion for the art of of honesty and of revealing parts of themselves to connect with audience members, to to connect with viewers. Um, uh, any, anyone, anyone in a position who could reveal something about the human condition, which is not an easy thing to do because it often, it, it means you have to reveal something about yourself that you may not want other people to see. Um, just their, their determination to do that. They were, they were on the precipice of something really special in terms of where the film industry was going and what it meant. So all, I, I were constantly, constantly referring back to those movies to find inspiration um, on days when, you know, I've, maybe my vanities are getting to me or maybe I don't, maybe I'm tired. And I could just watch that scene in Carrie over and over again where Piper Laurie is slapping her with the Bible, slapping Sissy Spacek with the Bible. And Tat watches that scene from Woman Under the Influence over and over again. I'm sure we've all got something like that. And, and speaking of Tatiana Maslany, I think she's an inspiration to all of us because yeah. why our show is so good is because of her. And it kind of starts with her and the energy that she brings to the set every day. And as hard as she works. She's like a little spark plug. She's, and she, she never incredible. tires and she never complains. No. Um, and she's just the sweetest girl throughout the duration of any scene that you're doing with her. And she's so giving and she's so present. And so, so encouraging. So encouraging. And it makes it such a fun place to come and work on Orphan Black for all of us. And what's really cool about Tat is that she talks to everybody on set. She's got so much to deal with, and many times, like, while they're setting up the scene, like, in a different camera position, I'll see her, like, off in a quiet corner going through her show Bible and, like, going through lines for a couple days from then. But she also, like, if there's a day player, someone coming in who's just playing a small role for a day, she makes that person feel welcome, uh, she makes all the, the cast and crew feel welcome, and she really is a, like a natural-born leader for this show. She, she is, really, yeah. you know, she's our number one, and, and she really leads with from example. Christian makes everyone feel welcome, but he, he gifts everyone with a pair of his uh, tidy whities that he... Used. Used. Used, how, used tidy whities How great for us, too, that as, especially as someone who was younger, and I didn't have a lot of experience before I came on the show, that I get the yardstick that I have to measure every other experience by... And, and the yardstick that I have to measure other leading actors by. It almost Tat. ruins it for yeah. me, right? Yeah. Yeah. Tatiana's then, ruined future jobs. She's for actually us. ruined my life. <laughs> she's enriched my life in totality. Um, it's, it's really, yeah, it's special because we get to carry on to other projects and bring all of the, everything we've learned from her, we get to take all that with us and hopefully pass that on to somebody else. I just have to say, my mom is my inspiration. Aww. Yeah, that woman is amazing. Wait, my mom's my inspiration too. Oh my God. Your left pectoral muscle is my inspiration. <laughs> no, my mom, my mom is, is wonderful and she's always inspired me and always encouraged me to do what I really wanted to do and uh, just as long as I did it well. And uh, she gave me everything that I needed to be here today to be on this stage. So, yeah. Hillary. Shout out to you. all the moms out there. To all the moms. All the moms. Love you, mom. All the moms. I don't know, this is so deep. <laughs> 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 there are a lot of people I like to thank. Uh, <laughs> of course my mom, of course my fiance, of course Tat, uh, guys, come on. I'm gonna start crying. <laughs> Do it. No. Do it. Cry, cry, no. cry, cry, Do cry, it. cry. On cue, on cue, cue. on cue. There we go. Somebody gift this. No, no, I, there are some pretty inspiring actors out there doing incredible work, especially in this day and age, I think is such a golden age. And I have a 
grocery list of TV shows I have to catch up on because it's just so incredible. You can buy TV shows at the grocery store? <laughs> probably. I feel like you can. I, I know yeah, we I joke, can. but can't you now? Red yeah, box there's a red box in the grocery know. store. But there goes my if there, there are two people that I completely crush on them and crush on their careers, uh, and I'm not afraid to say, Tom Hardy and Ryan Gosling. <laughs> If the I, guys? If I could emulate any of those, if anyone's career, oh man, they're so good. Yeah. So I love John C. Riley. He's my inspiration. That guy is brilliant. And he's got a dad bod too, so, you know. Dad bod's so hot right now. Dad bod's so hot right now. So hot right now. <laughs> You're bad. <laughs> oh, Crystal. Thank you. <laughs> Who's got the next question? Oh. Right here. Oh, okay. Dylan and I are like picking different people. Yep, You're stronger. You can pick. Hi, everybody. Hello. Hello. Uh, I just want to say I love all of you. Thank you. And my question is, um, if your characters had to settle their conflicts lip sync battle style, <laughs> which song would be your characters go to? And Ari, I know you have like a lot to choose from, so you could just pick one of one of your clones. Okay. I know mine immediately. Yeah. Boots, Nancy Sinatra. <laughs> I got no clue. <laughs> I'm Donnie. the worst. No one wants to hear me sing. Let's put it that way. You don't have to sing. You're lip syncing it. Lip syncing? Uh, come back to me. I think Donnie would, would crank some, like, Welcome to the Jungle, Guns N' Roses <laughs> in the car, but he would actually sing along and he'd be, like, yelling it. And then he noticed notice his window was down and someone was walking past and he would just like kind of turn it down. Mine's pretty obvious. It's, uh, I'd come in like a wrecking Paul. I knew you would work that in somehow. Yeah. Of course, I have to. <laughs> Loves his wrecking Paul. It's my favorite gif of all time. In, uh, when Mark, in the first episode in the, of second season when Mark came in, I don't think he had a name yet. And just the way he was dressed, I think people started comparing him to, um, oh man, what's that guy's name? Uh, Wicked Game, who sings Wicked Game? Chris? Chris Isaacs, Chris I think we were referred to as the Chris Isaacs for a while. So I think I'll, go, I'll run with that. All right. Nathan, please, oh, Nathan. say something, please. Come in here, Nathan. Guys, you're nailing this. <laughs> Nobody's noticing the awkward pauses or silences. <laughs> it's because it's we're all Canadian. Great. You guys are nailing this. I, we were all a little worried, but actually things come together really good. <laughs> Thanks, bud. Yeah, good. We had bets against Another thank question. you. I wish it didn't need the actually, but thank you. Right here. Right here. Oh. Thanks. Nathan, you're the best Joey. See you guys. <laughs> you're doing great. <laughs> Okay, much like Firefly became Serenity, would you guys want to make Orphan Black a feature film to wrap it up? Yeah, hell yeah. yeah. If, it yes. could, if it was done, if it had Graham and John on board, if so long as every, all the players were involved, yeah, I would do it in a second. Yep, totally. No, no question. Yes. <laughs> the greatest movie title of all time. If they brought my body parts back that are scattered and... <laughs> Put me back together somehow. I, I, I think a feature film would be a great idea. What did, idea. They, say, what did you, they used to say about the Million Dollar Man? What was that tagline? Like, he's broken, but we can rebuild it. I don't know. What, what was it? I don't know. What was it? Technology. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. I was born in 1989. <laughs> That's so gross. Isn't that a Taylor Swift song? <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Dylan Bruce. No, 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 no. I made it a policy now because I know no one would ever do it. I said the only way that anybody would ever get me to sing is if someone brought a guitar and... Someone get a, a damn guitar. Please, God, nobody get a guitar. Oh. Um, I, how do I even... Where, where do I go from that? What was the question? Would we do a movie? We're a all movie. like, yep, yeah. yep, yep, yep. Yes, the answer is absolutely, yeah, I would. Yeah. Um, and, you know, obviously they paid us a lot of money. <laughs> no. Um, so, next question? Uh, yeah. Hello, um, everybody's been so funny, so I'm gonna make it a little bit serious. But I do wanna say thank you to all of you. Um, I had cancer in April, and my parents came in to take care of me because my husband was deployed. 
And um, during my recovery, I, with my parents, watched every single season with them to get them up to speed. So you guys were totally part of my recovery. And you gave me laughter and tears. It was like really great. Can I come give you a hug? so much. Thank you. Thank you for being Thank a you. fighter. I, I am doing so good. I have one good. mediation left, but it's looking so great for me. So um, thank you to all of you. My question's actually for Ari because, um, you know, Tatiana has been doing the clone thing for a while and she's obviously really great at what she does, but only like one or two of her people have like major issues. I mean, they're all dealing with some things more subtle. Every one of your clones has, some, <laughs> has a couple challenges, just one or two, but I still feel bad for them. Like, you know, when well, one you. guy died and, you know, so I think, first of all, you're amazing because you take these characters with some unlikable pieces and you really make them very lovable, but then you have to play a really flawed person. So how do you approach that? That's my question. If flawed as in like the physical or the mental? The mental? I don't know, I think you're, you're doing yourself a disservice if you're ever trying to be a bad guy, if you're ever playing bad. Um, you just have to see, find the uh, values of why he's fighting for why, what he's fighting for, and you have to champion that. And if people don't like it, then you're doing your job, but it's important to uh, bring him out of the second dimension and, and humanize him. And, and, and then I think for Mark, that was always a, how I always saw him because I think he could have very easily fallen into henchmen for Johansson. And, and I was like, there's no, way, there's no way I'm gonna let this guy be this because it, he was so fun. It, right off the bat, I saw just like this lost boy uh, searching for whatever it was. And, and he found this father figure, and it was so interesting because, you know, I didn't know he was a clone in season two, and it sort of evolved. And then learning in season three that they only had a maternal mother, a uh, mother figure, uh, and no father figure, then that's obviously what he was searching for this whole time was his sort of nuclear family. And he found it with Johansson and, 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 and Gracie and, and, and Bonnie. Um, but yeah, I think... There's something, and, and getting back to Tom Hardy and Ryan Gosling and what it is about them <laughs> that I find so incredible, and, and, and this is all serious, without a man crush aside, um, they are so good at living in the gray area, and in any other movie, they would be the bad guy, but because they are the protagonist, we are right there with them, and... I find that so intriguing, and that's what I try, love to do every time. And, and I'm not, I love when you love to hate me. <laughs> but I really want you to love me, you know? <laughs> so it's, it, it's, it's a really, thankfully, my hit is, is, is in that realm, and I get to experience that and, 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 and try to force you to love me every single time, even, even though I'm written as the, as, as the baddie. So it, I love it. Just it, blow yourself up and they'll love you again. <laughs> I, I, twerk, I was in that boat up. for two seasons, brother. <laughs> All it takes is a grenade. And a whole bunch of shots and a couple of stabs. Yeah. In the back with the green wristband or whatever that is. Hey, let's give it up to the volunteers who are like yeah, thank you. the mics out. You guys are awesome. Thank you, guys. You guys are so cool. Thank you. Uh, hi. Uh, first of all, I love Paul through all three seasons, so that wasn't my issue. But, well, thank you. <laughs> um, so I guess my question is a little bit more fun than that, than the last one, which was way serious. Uh, but uh, since Josh Bokley isn't here, and you know he, Scott's kind of like unexperienced in life, is there any interest uh -huh. in like kind of, since he gets hit, ragged on a lot by Cosima, you know, kind of like a guy's night with a three, you know, like, guys, like, take him out, yeah, like, well to now, a bar, get him a woman. Yeah, he's... <laughs> I don't think Are you saying like, go and get Scott laid? Is that basically what yeah, you're saying? Yeah, possibly with Sarah Stubbs, you know. <laughs> yes, hook up Scott and Sarah Stubbs. 
I saw Sarah, Sarah Stubbs cosplay today. It was awesome. Oh, that's great. Yeah. She is so good. She's amazing. Um, uh, oh my gosh, why am I blanking on her name? That's really embarrassing. Oh my God, don't, oh, now I'm blanking. I've never worked with Tara, her, so don't Tara blame Hazleton. me. Tara Hazelton. Yeah, Tara. Tara oh my gosh, yeah. Tara is phenomenal. She's awesome, and an amazing singer, We don't way. know if Josh wants a boyfriend or a girlfriend. Yeah, we don't. We have no idea. We just know he's really awkward around. Not that it matters. Kasima and. Rachel. Delphi. He's really good and at Rachel. Games. And Rachel. Everybody's awkward around Rachel. Well. If there's a chair involved, it might not be so oh. awkward. <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot. What you guys did. Yeah. That weird like finger. A in little the mouth vino stuff. and yeah. who's it? Some dead? mouth Loud. finger in the mouth action. Yeah, finger in the mouth action. <laughs> yeah. She was inspecting me like a horse. You were a horse. I believe that was some scene description in the script. Yeah. Rachel and I believe she rode you like, like a, a horse. horse too. Jesus Christian. I'm just saying. If you're gonna make a horse reference, let's go all the way with it. In the Children's Museum. Oh, man. Uh, I'm an idiot. So back to Scott. Uh, <laughs> Scott has met the guys, though, now. He's been, he's part yep. of the Clone Club. Yep. We had that dinner scene, and uh, so Art was there. Fee, you were there. I was there. You're baddie. Uh, <laughs> I was in the garage. You were in the garage. <laughs> You're, you're probably buried next to Dr. Leakey. Who knows? We'll find out. Yeah, maybe we? we'll find that out. We don't know. We don't know. <laughs> but uh, I think it's time to get, like, <laughs> the guys that are still alive, if only you were with us, together. God, quit, keep twisting that knife. Well, you made a RoboCop reference earlier today. I did. I think that'd be great. Let's RoboCop Paul. I like that idea. Yeah. Start tweeting it, guys. And then we'll get RoboCop and Scott and the boys out. <laughs> and Robo we'll get Scotty laid. Perf. Yeah. Perf? Perv or perf? Perf. -a. Yeah, okay, good. One hundo P. Yeah, one hundo P. Uh, how about the Cosima oh. cosplay, which is an incredible costume. Stan everybody look at this costume. Do we have another one over oh, there, Oh, yeah. Too? I that, love this. She kind of looks... More. Cool. Oh. Oh. But did you guys bring any babka cake for all of us to enjoy? No babka cake. Fair enough. Yeah. <laughs> all right. So my question uh, for Paul, since you can't answer the other one, is that uh, are we gonna see you in anything else since you're no longer Paul? And then for everyone else, let's say you find out that you are a clone, and you can pick your own. Um, so you choose your own adventure, and this is a clone that has facets that your current character probably doesn't or can't have. What would you like to see in a character like that? Uh, yeah, I, I'm on Heroes Reborn right now. Um, I'm having a lot of fun filming that, uh, but I'm really happy to be here with Orphan Black. This is kind of like my swan song. so. I'll, Kind of wanted to come say goodbye to the Clone Club for, for the last time. I can't imagine doing another one of these without you. Oh, dude, I'll be here in spirit. I promise. I promise. Breaking my heart. <laughs> um, uh, what was the other question? You guys pick it up for the other question? No, the question is what, what incarnation of a character yeah, what, would you, what you already have a bunch. clone would we like to play? What's that? What incarnation of a clone would we like to Oh, play? okay, got it. So even if, if Paul was... If you can have, like, a clone to do stuff for you kind yeah. of thing, like Michael Keaton in duplicity kind of thing. Well... Maybe not like that? No. <laughs> Maybe more, like, in this show. Like, if, if Paul was still alive, what kind of clone would... Like, I'd love to see, like, a bookish Paul. That, 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 that's where I was going, because right, I would yeah. love to have, like, a guy that would do Paul's accounting for him. So I basically, we terrible. just slap glasses on you, and all of a sudden, you're nerded up. I, oh, I can give me the glasses. It's like Clark Kent. Oh my Nerd. god! Oh my god! Nerd. Nerd. I can see. This is amazing. Let me see. I would never have recognized him. <laughs> are you a looking and a liking right now? I'm a looking and a liking. Thank you. Those glasses are phenomenal. Can oh my god! Them? How blind are you? <laughs> I have astigmatism, okay? I'm really sensitive sorry. about it. <laughs> I want to do, I wanted to do a, like a real, um, like high powered executive, power suited CEO, just the complete opposite of Felix. I would love to do something like that in some accent. I don't know. Scholar. You got to kind of go for an opposite from what you are for sure. Yeah, that's always the first go. And then you try and find, then you cover the space between. Yeah. 
I want to, uh, like, I'm thinking a ninja assassin Donnie. I see that fitting into our show absolutely perfectly. Seamlessly. I mean, I guess I've already been an, an accidental assassin, but. <laughs> but like a ninja assassin, because that's he just. You didn't see it coming. Yeah. So technically. <laughs> If there could have been a cast of clone that got lost and somehow started working at Starbucks and turned into like Stefan, <laughs> I think that'd be pretty great. Like he got lost, he wandered off base and got lost in the desert. Oh my God, amazing. Interestingly enough, I think Felix went into that Starbucks. Yeah. <laughs> Do you know that that character got created after him, Bill Hader, Bill Hader going in every day and at his local Starbucks, and that was his barista. And then he created a character based on that guy. So Stefan is loosely based off somebody who lives. I love that. Do you know we Graham and John are watching this right now? So you might have a Stefan Club <laughs> next year. <laughs> we need more barista yes. characters on TV. I think yeah. we need to push for that in general. <laughs> barista diversity opportunities. Seriously, guys. Come on, creators out there watching <laughs> this Seriously, panel. Seriously, underrepresented. Nice to meet you guys. Um, so clearly we're all geeking out over Orphan Black. So I was wondering if there was one thing you guys would be like wanting to wake up at the crack of dawn to buy your tickets for, what would it be? Whether a TV show, movie, books, etc. Twin Beaks. <laughs> I am, I am, vi I, I've, I've very um, creepily sent David Lynch many a tweet. <laughs> I have not heard anything back yet. Uh, yet, I'll be working on Mark Frost next. Um, I would I would die, I would die to live in that world, even for a day. Uh, it would be amazing. And I would absolutely line up at the crack of dawn if there was some kind of a reunion. I missed the screening. They had a fire walk with me screening in LA recently, and a couple of the actors showed up. I think David Lynch was there. I would die. Uh, Star Trek, The Next Generation. <laughs> It, my family are such Trekkie nerds that um, my sister almost had a Star Trek The Next Generation theme wedding. Um, her husband was going to be Picard. Um, she was going to be Deanna Troy. And I was fighting to be Data. I wanted to be Data so bad. But I was stuck with Worf. <laughs> yeah, you look like a Worf. I do. I got a really big forehead. <laughs> Who were so rigid you in high like... school? Who are you, Dylan Bruce? Uh, I've come a long way, Jordan. <laughs> uh, I think Tat would probably have the same answer as me. Uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Tat, Tat and I dressed up as Ninja Turtles on Thursday night and went to the Comedy Bang Bang uh, podcast recording, and we were the only people dressed up. It she wasn't was, even in San Diego, basically. It was in Northwood. Like, it was, like, way yeah. out of Comic-Con. <laughs> and we were like, oh, God, we better dress up. So, okay. There's, this is the story. Scott Ackerman, who is the host of Comedy Bang Bang, um, has the same publicist as Tad, and she got a couple tickets for us for this podcast. So her publicist was like, okay, it's Comic-Con, you gotta wear a mask, you gotta like, you, you can't like just go out into a crowd, you get swamped and it'll take away from the show. So we're like, okay. So I went and bought kids-sized costumes of the Ninja <laughs> Turtles for Tad and I to wear. Her favorite, Raphael, mine Donatello. And, uh, they came with plastic weapons. Yeah, I brought plastic weapons from Canada. Somehow, <laughs> security didn't mind because they're plastic weapons <laughs> for kids. And uh, so we showed up, and we're the only ones dressed. So we sat in the audience dressed like Ninja Turtles <laughs> for the whole <laughs> show. And then we ran into Paul F. Tompkins the next day, who was in the show. And uh, we were talking to him yesterday. And we, we were like, we were so embarrassed. We were the only ones in costume. And he's like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Scott Ackerman totally knew. He told he wanted you guys to dress up like that, fully knowing that no one else would be dressed up. <laughs> That's amazing. Yeah. So Ninja Turtles. Does Wes Anderson fit into con? There should be a, just a Wes Anderson yeah, con. It, I mean, like Wes Anderson. Like all of his things are such. The worlds are so specific, and it's just like a, a graphic novel. And yeah, Wes Anderson. His movies are incredible. Which one? The, the newest one, uh, uh, Grand Budapest. Grand Budapest was yeah. In, yeah, wow. It's my favorite. Wow, but, but Royal Tannenbaum's. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. 
That was a really creepy uh, thing. How about you. at the back there, next to the yellow hat? Yeah. Is that like a roller derby cosplay? Either, either or, whoever would like to stand up. Next, oh. next to or the yellow helmet. We're Legends of the Hidden Temple from that night. Oh, that's wicked. <laughs> I don't know uh, what that is. <laughs> <laughs> it's Nickelodeon. I just tried to lie. Yeah, I know. You're like, that is awesome. I lied You're mic'd, you. buddy. Bold face. God, Jordan, censor yourself. <laughs> okay, well, don't censor yourself on this next one. Okay. Question. Okay, so now that you're not all your characters and you're actually you, who do you think is the hottest clone of Tat? That's our coworker. <laughs> I know. That's so creepy. <laughs> I think um, because of her intelligence... I'm making a very political statement right now. Because of her intelligence, I think Kasima is great. Um, not because she posts duck-lipped Instagram selfies that are filtered to hell on her Instagram page. I think just to make Christian Brun jealous, Allison. Whoa. I will wrestle you right here. I know you shirtless will. Shirtless in front of everybody. Anybody have some oil? <laughs> yeah, I won't do it without oil. No, oil only. Uh, you need oil for them. 100%. 100p. Um, I'm not going to say which one is the hottest. <laughs> That's so weird. But I will say the one that I want to hang out the most with is Kasima. Because she just seems so chill, so cool. And like, yeah. like from, from the get-go in season one, I was like, oh, yeah. She's, That's the one like I want to hang know, out with. Like, I feel like I've come across people like her in life. And I'm like, oh, yeah, yeah I really I want to like, hang out with you. I want to watch movies with you. And... Yeah, and maybe, like, pull your treads. <laughs> yeah, I do want to pull a couple treads. <laughs> That'd be cool. I like to eat. <laughs> and I, I will hang out with anybody who will challenge me and eat me under the table, so Helena. <laughs> Another question? Uh, let's do right here, over here on the plaid shirt. Glad shirt. Yeah, I uh, yeah. absolutely adore the show. It is so awesome and fun. Real quick, Nathan, my mom says hi. Thanks, Mom. <laughs> um, anyway, you guys seem like you're having such a great time here together today. Can you tell us about any sort of funny things that have happened when you've been filming? Like, has Tatiana or Ari ever, you know, pranked you by showing up in character as one clone and then talking as another one or anything interesting like that? The best... The best thing that happened this year was that dinner party. Yeah. When Tat, so the, this, the dinner party scene, for anyone who hasn't seen the last episode, um, I mean, I'm Spoiler sure- Spoiler alert. Have, it's been like five months, people. Like, I, and you're I, here, I'm sure you've all seen that. <laughs> so anyways, this dinner party that we were shooting took about, it was two and a half days almost. And by the end of the second day, we were all just fried. Tat in particular, because she has a very difficult job balancing the technicalities of motion control and trying to keep some spontaneity in the scenes as these clones. And keep in mind that the set for Bubbles is insane. Oh. Just like bright pink walls. Neon letters. Neon and even so though it wasn't everywhere. scented, yeah. smelled and like... Just soap. Yeah. Just non-scented soap still has like the whole Like the whole soundstage was... Gross. And eating cold, dusty carrots. Like it made us, it made us miss rendition camp. <laughs> you missed rendition camp? After being in Bubbles, yeah. <laughs> Needless to say, Bubbles is a hellhole. <laughs> a beautifully designed Beautifully hellhole. neon hellhole. And um, we got to the end of filming and Tat on a take, she was, because she's Helena, she eats a lot and she was shoveling this broccoli into her mouth but it was covered in white sugar. And I think a combination of the sleep deprivation, bubbles, uh, and the white sugar. But also being Helena last. And being Helena last. I don't know why. I don't know why. Yeah. And the wig and everything. It just, she lost it. Like she actually, I don't know what happened. But for a moment there, she just, she was crying and laughing at the same time. <laughs> but like, not like I'm, I'm laughing so hard I'm crying. Like I'm very overwhelmed and emotional. I also think this is funny over here. <laughs> and my body's splitting in two. She diverged. Is she, that a she thing? had a divergence. She divergent. Di divergented. And we couldn't stop. We, I mean, it was, we, we they and just we kept all lost rolling. It. They insisted they keep the roll, the cameras rolling. So 
um, we just started ad-libbing around her hysteria and telling her she was pregnant, and <laughs> it's probably just the pregnancy. Um, I don't know what else I said. It was a great time. Yeah, I, was, I they don't even remember those two any days. Of it. They used none of it, of course. Yeah. <laughs> we probably have time for one last question. Jeff. Oh, man. I'm not going to pick the last I don't question. Wanna, I don't want to pick the last nope. question either. You want me to? Yeah, yes. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> kind of power. Power. <laughs> Everybody's pointing to this direction over here, the pink hat. Oh. By popular demand. <laughs> So if Orphan Black was made into a movie or if it was rebooted in about 10 years, who would you want to have your, guy, your guys' characters played by? Whoa. I think Nathan would pl probably play Donnie, clearly. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Yeah, I'll have to work on my twerk. <laughs> Do you want to work on it now? <laughs> really, no. <laughs> <laughs> it's a flat out. Fair enough. That's all it takes, just saying no. Yeah, I don't do that very well. <laughs> Someone answer the question. Time's running out. Uh, uh, so uh, let's keep it in Canada. I would say Bill Shatner would be a great Paul. Oh, yep. Oh, that'd be nice. Billy Shatner. It was never Beth I loved. Um, sorry, why can I, I don't know why I can't think of his name. Who plays Borat? Sasha Baron Cohen. Sasha Baron Cohen is Felix. <laughs> yeah. I think you're, you're Mark. I'm Mark? You're Mark. I would love to see that. That is the nicest thing you've ever said to me. <laughs> <laughs> I would die. I would love to play that. I'll, I'll have my agent call your agent. Um, I'm sure I can work that out. <laughs> Gentlemen, I don't think this could have gone better. Thank you very, very much for Thank being. you, guys. Thanks, Nathan. Thanks, Nathan. Thanks, Nerd HQ. Thanks, Clone Club. Thanks, guys. Right on. <laughs>